think President Obama did tonight in the healthcare arena? That's the big story in the country right now, and that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. First of all, President Obama's intentions are good. He wants to clean up the health care mess. That's hurting millions of Americans. What's wrong with that? Nothing wrong with that. But his plan is chaotic and the expense ill-defined. But the president sees great urgency. This debate is not a game for these Americans, and they can't afford to wait any, any longer for reform. They're counting on us to get this done. They're looking to us for leadership, and we can't let them down. We will pass reform that lowers costs, promotes choice, and provides coverage that every American can count on. And we will do it this year. In the Barack in a Hard Place segment tonight, Monica Crowley has a beef with how the president treats people with whom he disagrees. Alan Combs has no such beef. And here they are, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. All right, now, uh, you listen to all this bloviating about the health care. We don't want to do that. Right. But you have a broader point you'd like to make, which is... Yes, well, I've noticed a real trend in how President Obama goes after honest opponents of his policies. He uses the word scare tactic. In fact, it's the scare tactic, scare tactic. He tries to paint Republicans, and even in his own party on this health care deal, conservative and moderate Democrats, as those out there trying to scare the American people. Well, and unless scared. we adopt... Well, he's saying unless we adopt his nationalization of health care, 20 percent of the U.S. economy, things are going to get so much worse. He did it on cap and trade. Remember, unless we do this right now, we're all going to be living in a sewer. And he also did it with the economic all right, so stimulus. It's hyperbole, but Monica, that has been used as a political tactic since George Washington. Come on now. Here, it's here, not unusual. Here is the point, And here's the twist, Bill. The reason it is so appalling when President Obama does it is because he campaigned for a president on a different kind of politics. He was going to usher in a different era and you were buying where that? that wasn't used. Uh, and you, remember, were, you were actually believing I that? I didn't buy it. I didn't vote for Martin it. Martin Van but, Buren said that. I didn't <laughs> buy it back then. All right, my God. Right no, but remember, now, wait, now, one, last point, one last point. That's what he accused Bush of doing on yeah. Islamic terror. Yeah. He said Bush and Cheney were all right. running around but they all scare use tactics. tactics. First of all, He's you were not alive during Van Buren. I'll stand up I'll tell you why. I'm going to give you one clear example of why I am scared about this whole thing. And that is, if the government starts to run the health care industry, they're going to have my medical records, which are horrible. They already know everything right? about you. Okay, that's right. <laughs> We're going to surrender the last yeah. bit of privacy we uh, have. They already have. You've already done that. You've already surrendered that. They no, have, they don't have my medical they already records. Have it. No. So well, you're not scared about that? No, because they already know everything about you. In no, fact, no. They, and you in particular know everything about Well, they try. You. So the fact of the matter, it's not going to be a big deal. In fact, you know, you it's don't laughable. Care. No, it's laughable to hear scare tactics and Obama come out of the mouth of conservatives who supported Bush. Okay. Mushroom oh, bad oh, behavior. I'm pointing to other bad behavior, oh, everybody. The point, is, the point is, it's just laughable because you got a double standard. Didn't, it didn't bother you when Bush did it. Only and this is not. Well, look, Bush was talking wait, about wait, 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 I think there were a few people in here in New York City where you live that were worried about Islam. Not because terror. of Iraq. Uh, not, not, no, I'm talking no, about Iraq, which has nothing to do with it. Iraq over, had nothing overall, to do with it. Islamic terrorism is something to be worried about, as are medical records in the hands of the Mushroom federal government. cloud from Iraq had nothing to do with 9-11. Okay. It was a scare tactic that had Alan, nothing to do with totally it. you're totally missing All the right, point. now here no, is, here is, yes, you are. Here <laughs> is Holmes' pick. Now, uh, it was a, a speech in front of the NAACP. NAACP. Look, All right, he said, wait, 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 let me, let me roll the clip, Holmes. All right, President Obama speaking in front of the NAACP. Go. We've got to say to our children, yes, if you're African-American, the odds of growing up amid crime and gangs are higher. Yes, if you live in a poor neighborhood, you will face challenges that somebody in a wealthy suburb does not have to face. But that's not a reason to get bad grades. That's not a reason to cut class. That's not a reason to give up on your education and drop out of school. No one has written your destiny for you. Your destiny is in your hands. You cannot forget that. Okay, so I like that speech. Right. That was good. Look, and he said the same kind of things Bill Cosby has said. He has said things, for example, when he says African Americans have to be known for things other than sports and music, a white president could never have made a speech like that. He talked, no excuses, no excuses. So I think he was inspirational. He gave great aid and comfort. I can't argue with that. You Can know, you I argue with that? No, no, I job. don't. I actually agree with Alan on this point. I think it was a great speech. I read through it. Alan is right. Only a black president can give his kind Alan of message to repeat Alan is right a couple the, more times? Uh, yeah, you better enjoy it now. Well, yeah, he's so it. seldom here. Yeah. Uh, right. right. <laughs> no, I think Obama gave the right message. The problem is that many in the black community are saying, whoa, that's not enough. So he gives a great speech. That's great. His message is great. We want to see him do more. And, in fact, on the economy, you've got blacks across the country saying, 
you know what? It's hitting our community even more than it's hitting any other though. community. Uh, I think the but black you know American what? community supports Obama. That's probably his strongest precinct right now. But, uh, but okay, so we all three agree that a message to African Americans that, look, no more excuses. Um, we've, we've gone over this, uh, this ground. I'm now president. America's a place where anything can happen. The problem with uh, Barack Obama, though, is sometimes the rhetoric is very effective as it is there, and sometimes the rhetoric, Holmes, is just BS. Well, well and, and the health care is the best example of a capital B and a capital S. If you it were know not it. for Barack you Obama, know. we wouldn't be having, whether you like his plan or not, we wouldn't be having a debate about health care right now. The fact that he's even talking about it, the fact that it's part of the national dialogue, something will get done. We can debate with the merits or lack thereof. I don't think anything's going to get we done. We would not be having this conversation I'm going on record were it not saying, for the President of the United States. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go on record as saying nothing's going to get done this year in health care because it's such a crazy thing. And that Obama may have hurt his credibility among the American people so that the other things he might want to get done are going to be harder. He's got a long way to go. Absolutely, because the spending that he's already put in place is blowing up the deficits, blowing up the national debt. You've got conservative and moderate Democrats uh, in Allen's party who are blowing this thing up. It's not the Republicans. He's going to lose enormous credibility because he's yeah, said I'm worried about that a little bit in the sense that we don't want a chaotic country six months into a new administration, but that's what we got. chance right if he talked about single payer, uh, right. All right. Right. Yeah, yeah, that, it, it, that would be much Not better. Happening. Thanks for being Dr. Kildare. I'd nice to see you. Thank you very much. All right, Monica. Thank you. When we come right back, it will be.